Hey guys, welcome to an episode of the Rails Foundation series. In this episode, the next couple of episodes coming up, uh, we're going to be looking at continuing work on our state machine that we implemented in the previous episode. So let's take a look at what we have. So I'm going to start up the Rails server over here. Uh, and then I'm going to open up my code editor. So this is the state machine that we implemented. And we've got the, you know, the publish event going on over here. Um, and in the previous episode, we were able to publish our event uh, using the command line. Uh, and so what we're going to be doing in this episode is we're going to create the form. So let me just log in over here, uh, here, right here. So here we have the application. And if I go to the admin uh, post page, we can see the collection of events, uh, the collection of posts that we have. Um, so what I've done here is I've, I've listed out the posts and I'm just rendering out each state to show you guys that, you know, this is a published post, this is the draft post. Uh, so one of the things we want to do is, um, so if I click edit here, I should be able to see a bar over here and what I call is it's the action bar. And it's going to be the bar where it's going to contain the state changer. So it's like a bar that spans across the top and we can click the publish, unpublish, uh, for the post, for the individual post. Um, so that's one thing we want to accomplish. And if I go back to the listing page for the post, what I want to be able to do is filter between different posts. So over the next couple of episodes, I'll be showing you guys how to do all that stuff for the admin. And I know it, things look a little bit, you know, cluttered up and it's not so clean. It doesn't look so nice, but we're going to clean all this up later on. And I'm going to show you guys how to organize your views, your assets, and how like get everything cleaned up the way it should be. Uh, so that's all coming up in the next couple of episodes. So let's uh, let's do a code, uh, take a look at the code real quick. So um, if I head over to the post here, what I've done here is I'll render out the, po the post status uh, inside of the call MD. So basically where the uh, edit and the delete buttons are, uh, I just did a post.status to render out the status of the post. Uh, and then what I'm going to do next is basically start to implement the stuff that I'm going to need to do to implement the, the form to change the state. So um, what I'm going to be doing in this case is I'm going to be using this method here from the stateful enum can assign. Uh, so for example, in this case, the assign is the event. So I'm going to check if I can publish. So in our case, it'll be can publish. Uh, and if it's true, we're going to go ahead and publish our post. And if it's not, we're not going to publish it. Um, so how do we do all that stuff? Well, that's what's going to be doing. That, that's what we're going to be doing in this episode right here. So we're going to start off with this AATTR accessor. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to assign a temporary value to our model. And then we're going to be able to act on that um state or act on that event. So this is the state event uh, accessor. And what we can then do is we can create a callback. So in this case, I'm going to do a private method uh, and then uh, trigger state. And then I'm going to call it. So after uh, save trigger state, if state event. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to detect that, okay, if a state event has been assigned, then we're going to basically do something here. Um, so basically this is going to run this private method here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to send the state event if the we can do the can uh, state event. and question mark, just like that. So we can even send it as a symbol like that. So what this is going to do is send is basically um, how we can send a method, like a dynamic, like in this case, a dynamic method name, uh, so because the state event can change based on what we pass in in the form. And so what we want to do essentially is we're saying, if we can publish this post, go ahead and publish it. That's, that's what this line is saying, basically. So let me demonstrate this in the console. So I'm going to head over into the console over here, uh, Rails C, and I'm going to just load one post. Uh, and then basically, we're going to go from there. So post equals post dot last, uh, post dot can uh, publish. So it's going to return false because this one has already been published. So you can't publish an existing post like that has already been published. Um, so that's what it'll do. That's what the can publish will do. So essentially what we have to do here is set the state event to be 
uh, the word publish. And so what we're going to do is in the edit page over here, we're going to implement a bar, a, a form on top uh, where we can render out the action bar as I was mentioning earlier. So I'm going to head over into the edit page just to show you guys a little bit clearer. Uh, so over here, I'm going to render the action bar up the top. Uh, so I'm going to head over into here, do a div class uh, action bar. And then basically here, uh, we're going to render the, a def, different form. So this form will handle just a state event. So here we're going to do admin post. So form four. Do. Uh, and then the form helper over here. Just like that. And then here we're going to do f.submit publish class btn btn's success and then btn block all right so now that's just the button we actually need the name of the state event and because now uh, we're using attr accessor we can set the attribute for the model so what we can do is f dot hidden field and then state event and then here we can do value and then publish all right, so here if I do a reload real quick, we're gonna see the publish button and it's pretty big, so it's not that nice. So what we're gonna do is very quickly, we're just gonna do a quick div class call MD offset 10, call MD offset uh, two, just like that. And then here, Now, if I do a reload, we're gonna get this, you know, it's on the right, you know, so we can see it very clearly. Um, so that's gonna be uh, something that's gonna give us a, a good start. Um, right now, it's kind of like in the container uh, because our layout here, uh, we're kind of like inside of the container. Ideally, I want the bar to not be inside of the container so it's not inside our, you know, the, the, the columns that we have. It should be like span the whole page, but we'll fix all that later. Uh, for now, let's just get this to work. So I'm gonna head over into the edit. And then basically what we wanna uh, ideally do is uh, click the publish button and it should publish our post over here. Uh, so everything has been set up. Uh, you, so it should be working uh, except for this part over here. We just need to correct the name of the method of the after save. Uh, and so this should now work. And so let's give it a shot. I'm gonna head over into the post controller here. Uh, another thing we need to do is enable the state event parameter to come through our controller over here. So I'm going to head over into here, do a reload real quick. So this is post 98. I click publish and uh, I'm going to go over into the admin over here. So 98 became published as well. So one thing I'm going to do is in our update, uh, control uh, an update action, we're going to redirect to admin post path. So we can see the admin post rather than the public post of what's being displayed in public. So then I'm going to click over here for 97, click publish. And then we have the publish button now working. All right. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this episode. Uh, I want to keep things pretty simple. And in the next episode, we're going to be implementing the unpublished button and that's going to uh, force us to clean up some of the things that we have over here um, so that's going to be pretty exciting you guys are going to learn a lot of new stuff about uh, yield and content for and you know all kinds of view helpers that help you clean up your views to like share and subscribe become a member we appreciate your support see you guys in the next one